Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, exploring the waters of the intro section, Array Change. The objective here is to... The objective here is to increase... We get an array of integers, and we want to know, is what is the minimum number of steps to increase by one, exactly? So in this case, it'd be, it'd be three. In this case, it would be five to fix what's going on here. And the reason for that is we need to increase the value. And then we have to increase, we have to keep track every time we increase it. And so like for instance, the reason this this one is 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 five is because we go zero, zero goes uh, zero to negative two. So we don't have to worry about it. increases here, but it decreases here. So negative two has to go up to one. So that's negative one, zero. Uh, one and then zero one two you guys get the idea so uh, we have to increase the count basically uh, the way I did it well well we already used the word count so we have to we have to keep track of how many times we're changing it uh, we also need to <coughs> excuse me we also need to uh, just iterate for the entire length of the array <coughs> minus one because the last number we don't necessarily need to increase and so we'll say var i is equal to, oops, for var i is equal to zero, while i is less than input array dot length minus one, pi plus plus. All right, here's the logic. If our current value is greater than our previous value, and that's the reason we don't have to do the negative one because we're going to take care of it. <coughs> the last, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit sick here. So if our current value in our input array is greater than or equal to, remember equal to is just as bad because so we have to still increase it by one, the value in front of it plus one, because we have that i plus one, that's where the minus one comes into play so we don't get any undefined errors. We need to calculate the difference, so we'll have this difference, and that's going to be the imp the current item plus one minus the in minus the pre the upcoming index array. So this is our difference, which is the input array i plus one, and then we're going to from here minus the index in front of it. So that's our difference, and then we're gonna set we're gonna set the input array i plus one equal to the current value of i plus one, meaning, and then we're gonna set count plus equal to difference. So let's talk about this because. Uh, all we have left to do right now is return count and we'll set that up but let's let's kind of run through the logic real quick so if our current item is greater than our item in front of it we need to do something right because it needs to be increasing so to do that we calculate the difference where we say hey we need it to be one item bigger than our previous item so that's where this plus one comes from and we need to know what that difference is so that uh, we can add it to count as well as set the value down the road. So we're going to say, look, the value of our current, our, the item in front of it is actually the item behind it plus one. That's what we're saying. And we have to do that so that it's, it's kind of backwards compatible. So it compares with the item in front, two in front of it, of the item one in front of it. And then we set that difference here. Let's go ahead and run our test, make sure I don't have any any errors. We have right here, i is less than, and uh, hopefully that's it, submit. But that's the idea. When I originally tried to do this, I, I kept on trying to splice all these numbers into an array, and I got timed errors and a bunch of other stuff. 
It was a, it was a silly way of going about it. It's much. This is a much better way of doing it. I'm sure there's other ways as well. I hope you share them in the comments for everybody. As always, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And even though I'm sick, I'm trying to power through and work and all that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys are working hard as well. Uh, join our Facebook group. Join our Discord channel if you have the money and you'd like to. Support me at patreon.com slash codingtorrents360. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.